Good morning to everybody. This is the week of March 15th through March 21st. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge your allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some tips for being a barrel buddy. This week in history, on this day in 1965, President Lyndon B. Johnson addresses a joint session of Congress to err the passage of legislation guaranteeing vo voting rights for all. Using the phrase, we shall overcome, borrowed from African-American leaders struggling for equal rights, Johnson declares that every American citizen must have an equal right to vote. Johnson reminds the nation that the 15th Amendment which was passed after the Civil War, gave all citizens the right to vote, regardless of race or color. But states had defined the Constitution and erected barriers. Discrimination had taken the form of literacy, knowledge, or character tests administered solely to African Americans to keep them from registering to vote. Celebrations this week. March 15th, National Napping Day. March 16th, National Panda Day. March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. March 18th, National Awkward, Mom Awkward Moments Day. March 19th, National Certified Nurses Day. March 20th, 20th, National Corn Dog Day. And March 21st, National Crunchy Taco Day. Buddies are brave. This week we are focusing on the letter B. B stands for bold. One way you can be bold is by asking for help when you need it. Hi, Barrow Buddies. I am excited to announce that we are having a book fair. Book fair is going to start on Friday, March 19th, and it will last through the next week. Um, I hope that you're excited to get to come to Book Fair again, but I did want to let you know that Book Fair will be a, a little different this time. Um, you are used to coming to the Book Fair just on your own when you have money to spend, um, but we are going to have everything scheduled. So I'll be sharing a schedule with your teachers and with your family to let them know when you will be coming to the Book Fair to shop so that you'll know what day to bring money to school. There's also something called an e-wallet where your parents can set up an account so that you don't have to carry around money with you. It's already at the register ready to spend. So I'll be sending information about that to your families too. So make sure you share that with them. Also, if you are staying virtual, we will, are gonna have a special shopping day just for virtual students after school. And that will be happening on March 20. So look for information um, in your um, classrooms. You'll get a flyer and information about the e-wallet and then remind your family to check Class Dojo for information about the schedule. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's update. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. Happy Monday. We're so glad to welcome back our third through fifth grade students who've been waiting patiently to return to school in person. So we have some students returning here at Barrow and we have some students who are um, re may remaining virtual and they may start with new virtual teachers this week. So in third and fourth grade, Miss Mullins and Miss McCollum and Mr. Prince will continue to be virtual teachers and in fifth grade, Miss Olin will be a, a the virtual teacher for virtual students in fifth grade. So welcome back to all of our students. I wanna just remind our third through fifth graders that pre-K, kindergarten, first and second graders have been working hard over the last two weeks to follow our school routines and make sure that everybody is being safe and using good health standards. And so we expect our third, fourth and fifth graders to do the same thing this week. So Three important reminders. One is that you come to school with a mask on and that your mask fits well and that you wear it properly all day long. You need to make sure you cover your nose and your mouth with your mask, even when you're speaking. So make sure that you're doing a good job with that to keep everybody safe. That's the most important way 
to stop the spread of COVID. So we want to make sure that we're doing a good job with that. We will always have backup masks here at school if you need one or if you forget one. So we have that here. We want to make sure that you're keeping your distance between your peers, which is probably the hardest thing to do because we have so many students returning to school and it's hard to stay, um, to keep a little bit of a distance, but try to do your best with that, especially when we're um, sitting in the classroom and we're next to each other for a while in the cafeteria. Make sure you keep your chair in the location that we have set it and try not to scoot it too close to somebody else um, to talk to that friend that's nearby. Um, and in the hallways, make sure you're keeping your distance. That's really important. And then wash your hands frequently. So make sure you're washing with soap and water um, is the preference. And if you don't have soap and water, use hand sanitizer to clean your hands. And it's a really good idea just to keep your hands away from your face. So um, try to think about that, which is also a hard thing to do sometimes. So those are the things that we're gonna be practicing this week with our third, fourth and fifth graders. Our pre-K through second graders already got it down and they're just gonna keep plugging along and um, doing a good job with that. I wanna also let everybody know that we're gonna have a fire drill on Tuesday um, and we need to do that to just practice how we would exit the building in an orderly way if there was an emergency in our building. So now that we have everybody back in school, we're gonna practice that on Tuesday. Um, we have a St. Patrick's Day coming up, um, which is a fun celebration. And we'll be celebrating with our teachers by having a teacher appreciation event and tea with the queen on Thursday. So students ask your teachers what that means, tea with the queen. So we're excited about that event. All right, let's take a look at birthdays. Happy birthday to these Barrow buddies this week. These students will be celebrating. I'm at Tesova, Ronan Ricard, Max Lamphier, Scarlett French, Asma Garib, Jasper Odom, Julieta Diaz Camarillo, Taylor Brown, and Kaden Colbert. Happy birthday. Also, happy birthday to Miss Samuel this week. We have lots of shout outs, which I am excited about. Mrs. Grant would like to give a shout out to Miss Autumn Sullivan for all her help with technology in room two. Mrs. McCullum, Miss Mullins, and Mr. Prince would like to give a shout out to Winston Johnson. He raises his class, sorry, he raises his hand in every class and is so kind to all of his teammates. Mrs. McCullum, Mrs. Mullins, and Mr. Prince would like to tell Arohi, Noor, Benjamin, and Mayada to have a great first day back in the building. We will miss you. And welcome to Rodriana. And welcome back, Caden. We're so proud of our new Team 207. Mrs. Brevard would like to give a shout out to Eleanor, Jeremy, and Sean for always in, being engaged and participating in class every day. They are always ready to share their thoughts and predictions when reading stories together in class. Miss Kim and room 123 want to give a shout out to our whole class. She asked for names of students who are engaged, work hard, do their best and participate. And she got so many different names that I think we all deserve the shout out. Great job, buddies. Miss Donata would like to give a shout out to all her kindergarten, first, second, and third grade buddies who are finished or almost finished with the access test. You did it. Great job, everyone. Ms. Dene would also like to recognize her students who donated 10 meals to UNICEF through reading on kids A to Z. Great job, Ms. Donata students have donated over 68,000 stars. We hope that you all have a great week at Barrow School and we are glad to see you and be together as a school community. Have a great week. Before we leave, let's say our Barrow Honor Code together. As a Barrow buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy even when no one is looking because that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. Have a great day.